Ho, ho, hello. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Becky. Welcome back to Bookmas. And today I'm going to share with you if Scribd, aka Everand, as it is now known, has been worth my money this year. If you don't know what Everand, formerly known as Scribd, is, it is an audiobook, ebook service similar to Audible. The only difference is you don't pay for credits every month and then just get to use one credit and you own those books. With Everand, you pay a flat monthly fee and you get to sort of rent the audiobooks. You don't get to keep them. With Everand, they say it is unlimited ebooks and audiobooks. I primarily use it for the audiobooks. I have only ever used Everand for ebooks one time. <laughs> And although they say it is unlimited, if you tend to listen to a lot of new releases or popular books at the very beginning of your month, they will start to limit your selection of audiobooks to listen to. This is the main issue I hear about Everand from a lot of people, is it says it's unlimited, but is it really? Technically, yes, because you can listen to audiobooks all month long. However, based on the popularity of the books that you're listening to, they will start to give you only the crappy selection to listen to toward the end of your subscription. So keep that in mind. At the beginning of this year, I wanted to keep track of what audiobooks I was renting off of Everand. I also wanted to keep track of how much they cost if I just paid for them through Audible. I believe with Audible, the normal price is $14.95 a credit. I know there are some different price variations where you can pay less or pay more. But for the purpose of this video, I used $14.95 as my baseline. And when I was looking at the prices of these audiobooks, I just went on Amazon and I saw how much they were going for at that time that I listened to them. I pay $12.78 a month for Everand. And I've paid for it all 12 months of the year. So let's go month by month. I'm going to share with you the audiobooks that I listened to, how much they would have cost had I just purchased them through Audible, and what my savings was for that month. In January, I only listened to two audios. They were The Dance of the Burning Sea and The Heretic Royal. Both of these were priced at $14.95 on Amazon. If I had purchased these through Amazon, I would have spent $29.90. But using Everand, I had a savings of $17.12. In February, I listened to a total of six audios. I listened to the graphic audios of Akatar, both of them. These are split up into two parts. And together on Amazon, they would have cost me $29.90. I listened to Unseely, which was priced at $14.95. I listened to The Will in the Wilds, which was also priced at $14.95. Into the Heartless Wood would have cost me $10.63. I listened to both parts of the Akamath graphic audio, which would have cost me $29.90. And I listened to The Whispering Dark, which would have cost me $14.95. Had I bought these from Amazon, I would have spent a total of $115.28. But using Everand, I had a savings of $102.50. In March, I listened to a total of six audios. Legends and Lattes would have cost me $13.32. I listened to all three parts of the Aka War graphic audio, which would have cost me $44.85. Elijah, which would have cost $14.95. Love Light Farms would have also cost me that same amount. The Elf Tangent would have also cost $14.95. And Veins of Gold would also have cost me $14.95. Had I purchased these audios through Amazon, they would have cost me a total of $117.97. That's a savings of $105.19 using Everand. In April, I also listened to a total of six audios. The Clockwork Boys, Babel, Noah, The Mirrorwood, and Icebreaker all would have cost me $14.95. And I listened to Fortune Favors the Cruel, which would have only cost me $7.49. Using Amazon, I would have spent a total of $82.24, which gave me a savings of $69.46 using Scribd. In May, I listened to a total of five audios. I listened to the four remaining books in the Dark Magi series, which each would have cost me $12.24. And I listened to Fourth Wing, which would have cost me $14.95. Through Amazon, I would have paid $63.91, which gave me a savings of $51.13 through Everand. In June, I only listened to three audios. 
The Salt Grows Heavy, which would have cost me $9.09. Hush Hush, which would have cost me $14.95. And What a Dragon Should Know, which for some reason would have cost me $18.61. Using Amazon, this would have cost me $42.65, but using Scribd, I had a savings of $29.87. In July, I only listened to two audios. The Book of Living Secrets and Novice Dragoneer would have cost me $14.95 each, meaning I would have spent a total of $29.90 via Amazon, which gave me a savings of $17.12 using Everand. In August, I listened to three audios, What Should Be Wild, Vengeance Road, and City of the Beast, which all would have cost me $14.95, which means I would have spent $44.85 if I bought these through Amazon, which gave me a savings of $32.07 using Everend. In September, I read a total of four audios. Dewey the Small Town Library Cat would have cost me $10.65. The Witch Haven would have cost me $12.59. The Shadow Sister and the Princess and the Goblin both would have cost me $14.95 each, meaning I would have spent a total of $53.14 on Amazon, which gave me a savings of $40.36 using Everend. In October, I only listened to two audios. Videos. Yesternight, which would have cost me $15.48, and Wishtress, which would have cost me $14.95, meaning I would have spent $36.43 via Amazon, and I had a savings of $17.65 through Scribd. In November, I listened to five audios. I listened to the graphic audio of A Court of Silver Flames Part 2, which would have cost me $18.05. I then listened to the entire Galactic Love trilogy. The first book would have cost me $14.95, and then books two and three only would have cost me $10.65 each. And I listened to The Love Scribe, which would have also cost me $14.95. Through Amazon, that would have cost me $69.25 which means I had a savings of $56.47. And in December so far, I've only listened to two audios, Wild Scottish Knight and The Dark King, which both would have cost me $14.95 each, meaning I would have spent $29.90, which gave me a savings of $17.12. So I believe if I tallied up right, that would have been 50 individual audiobooks that I would have had to purchase because the Akatar audios were split up into two, sometimes three parts that I would have had to pay for individually. So overall this entire year, if I had purchased every single one of these audiobooks through Audible, I would have spent a total of $715.42. My total yearly payment to Everand was $153.36. My overall total savings by using Everand is $562.06. And the fact that most of these books came right off of my physical TBR, now is that a waste of money to listen to the audios of physical books I've already paid for? Yes. <laughs> Did I factor in the calculation of the books I paid for and then listened to on Everand? No, because some of these books were gifts for me. Some of them I had purchased years ago and I couldn't remember what I paid for them at the time. But considering the fact that I listened to 50 audiobooks, most of which came straight off my physical TBR that were available on Everand and I had that big of a savings is amazing. So I definitely think Scribd was well worth my money. I do have a referral link down in my description if you would like to try out Scribd for yourself for two months free. I would actually get a free month of Scribd as well. So let me know down in the comments what audiobook service do you use if you listen to audiobooks. But if you don't want to comment that but would like to let me know that you made it to the end of this video, could you leave me a plus sign because your girl used math today. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for a new video of Bookmas. Bye.